This jump demonstration shows how to calculate sample size and power for a hypothesis test on two independent sample proportions. Jump has a collection of interactive sample size calculators called Sample Size Explorers under the DOE menu. The calculator for a test on two proportions is found under Power and Power for two independent sample proportions. The calculations in this tool are based on the normal approximation test method. In the Explorer settings, we'll specify the type of test, either one-sided or two-sided, and the significance level alpha. In this example, we'll stay with a two-sided test with an alpha of 0.05. In the Profiler section, we have a group of interactive graphs that show the relationship between power on the y-axis and either group 1 or group 2 sample size, and group 1 or group 2 proportion on the x-axis. We can use the sliders or manual text entry to specify values for these test parameters. Here we've specified a scenario in which group 1's proportion is 0.5 and group 2's proportion is 0.75. We'll then enter a desired power of 80% to calculate the necessary sample size. We see that a total sample size of 110 will yield a power of 80.04% with the sample size split evenly across the two groups. Note that power is not exactly 80% because sample size must be an integer and there's no total sample size that would yield a power of exactly 80%. 110 is the smallest sample size that would achieve a power of at least 80%. Also note that when we specified our desired power, the sample size was calculated while the group proportions were held constant at the values that we specified. This is because total sample size was selected in the Solve For drop-down menu. If we had selected a different test parameter, for example Group 1 Proportion, then that parameter would be calculated while holding the others constant. For example, if we were to collect 40 observations in each group and assume a Group 2 proportion of 0.75, then achieving at least 80% power would require Group 1's proportion to be 0.457 or lower. We've been using manual entry to perform our calculations, but we also can use the graph sliders to interactively explore the relationships between hypothesis test parameters and power. For example, we can see that power decreases as we increase group 1's proportion to 0.75, before increasing again, reaching 80% at approximately 0.96. We also have the option to lock in the total sample size and explore trade-offs between weighting that sample size more heavily towards one of the two groups. Finally, as we explore different scenarios, we can save our results for later reference to help us choose the sample size that we'll ultimately use. Clicking the Save Settings button saves the current values to a table at the bottom of the window, with radio buttons to return to those settings at any time. Under the red triangle, we have options to simulate data according to the parameter values that we've specified, as well as to create a data collection table for the sample size that we've chosen.